good morning. It is early. And I'm heading off to get my car clean. Who drives 70 miles for a car wash? I do. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Oh, yeah, not bad, thanks. Good run up. Yeah, not loving the weather today. Yeah, I know. Although it's looking a bit brighter over there. Got to go and pick up my 19s. Mm. I'm having them uh, powder coated the same colour as the 21s. And they're going to have my winter tyres on. They're getting done yep. at uh, petrol head detail doing them. And then we'll get your car clean. Fantastic. That's pretty clean. <laughs> I've seen. Yeah. Doesn't look bad, it doesn't look if bad we're being all. completely honest. It really doesn't, and it's black. Yeah, and it, there's been rain. I've had to drive it in rain. It is, it it's is rain on the way incredible. up. Windscreen did a reasonably good job of clearing. It's the when it's really fine, it doesn't clear so well. You can see the difference now in between those two windscreens, with yours having like a bluey tint, mine having a reddy tint. It really does, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh yes. <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh yeah. Hi, James. How's it going? He does a good job, doesn't he? Yeah, he does a very good job. This is fascinatingly interesting. There is a product that prevents the fogging up of the inside of yeah. glass. Yeah. I'm thinking specifically Nissan Leaf owners here. First gen Nissan Leaf, no heat pump. Don't like to use the heating in winter. Need to get this stuff. Look at this. So basically we did a coating, a specialist coating on these three windows to compare it to the ones that were fogging up and as you can see there's a huge difference and that's after three days. What's this product called? So it's called Geon Anti-Fog. Oh. Products are around about £10 a bottle and you just literally spray it onto an applicator, wipe it over the glass, leave it for about three or four minutes and then wipe off the excess and it's done. We're now back at Mark's place with his newly coated 19 inch wheels and I've got a bunch of car cleaning goodies, essentials. What I was hoping was that you could talk me through the process of cleaning my car. How, how should I be doing it? Well, the way I do it, I don't know where it should be done, but the way I've done it over years and years, uh, firstly, you want to get the main muck off, which is a good jet wash. Just simply jet wash all of the muck off the car, the wheels, down the, right down to the bottom of the doors, just underneath the sills, just simply blast all of the muck off. You can pre-treat it, yours didn't need it, but I have got some um, like pre-treatment spray, so in winter when you've got salt all the way up the side of the car, yeah. I just spray that on it, leave it for five minutes, and then jet wash it, and that just helps get the salt off. Cool. Next thing is you want to be covering the car in foam. So you, with your snow foamer, which connects to your jet washer, you cover the whole car. You then start with a two bucket method where you have one bucket full of clean water with a gravel trap at the bottom and another bucket with a gravel trap in with a car wash and not very liquid because that will just <laughs> destroy your paint. Yeah. So the next thing to do then with two buckets is to wash the car. So you wet your lamb's wool mitt in the rinse bucket to rinse anything off the mitt to start with, all of the gravel or any of the bits that are left in the mitt will fall to the bottom of the bucket below the gravel trap so that you're only ever putting the mitt into clean water. Uh, you then start at the top of the car, start with the roof, work your way down, washing the, the car from the wash bucket. Uh, every now and again, rinse the wash mitt of any muck that's on it in the rinse bucket and then put it back in the wash bucket and carry on washing. This is the way I do it, I then jet wash the car off. So that rinses all of the, the soap suds off the car. But we've not done the wheels or the wheel arches. So the next thing I do is using a different mitt just so I don't contaminate my best mitt. Um, I use the same method with two buckets to wash the wheels, starting with the lightest of the dirty wheels, which is normally the back ones because uh, you get the most brake dust on the front ones. Um, so I start with the back wheels, wash the wheels, then I use a, a wool, I don't know what it's called, a wool wand or a wool, something, wonder woolly or something, to get in between the spokes right down the back, so I clean all the inside surface of the, uh, of the wheels and the brake disc, and uh, brake caliper. Uh, then I go over the inside of the wheel arch with a brush to brush any of the rubbish and eight, five thousand miles worth of dirt that accumulates in a wheel arch. 
uh, get that out and then I jet wash the wheel because you don't want to be jet washing the wheel and then jet washing the wheel arch and covering your nice clean wheel in all the dirt from the wheel arch. So now you ended up, you've ended up with a clean car completely, top, bottom, sides, underneath, everything. Um, we didn't do the door shuts on yours because uh, you were they're pushed fine. for time. And, I, and when I said, are they all right? You said, yes, they're fine, which is amazing because you didn't even check. But we, so we didn't do the door shuts. I would normally do the door shuts as well. And then finally, with the car jet washed and clean, you want to rinse off, or I, rinse off the water using a filtered, uh, resin filtered water system, which removes all of the solids and the soluble um, solids from the water that comes out of the tap. So if you just rinse your car and leave it, you end up with water spots on it, which is really obvious on a black car. But if you then uh, rinse the car and then rinse it off with resin filtered water, it will dry completely spotless. There will be not a mark on it, which is what yours should be doing in that fantastic sunshine out there. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. It looks amazing. And I'm gonna have to invest in a couple of little bits and bobs and, um, and keep it. it that way. Yeah, Mark's done an amazing job. <laughs> wow, I feel a bit lazy for not having done it all myself. It works for my liking here. Yeah, there's some water on the underside of my board though. That, that's why I sealed it, for exactly this. Otherwise, all that water would just be working its way into the front edge there. Motors are bone dry. They haven't picked up any moisture. It's a yummy lunch, as I said. Thanks very thanks much. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot. I didn't really say thanks to me. No, thanks for lunch. Oh yeah, my pleasure, lunch. my pleasure. Thank you for... Showing me how to clean a car properly. Looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Right, let's go get some of that raindrops off it. Bit of uh, airflow. Cheers. Yep, yeah, see, see you tomorrow. Later. Well, I managed to get the car back relatively clean. There was a bit of rain. It was, it was pretty clean to start off with, but yeah. Uh, oh, before I forget, Mark has an Instagram account and there are usually lots of great Tesla photos that he throws up there so if you're interested I will leave his link in the description. I'm going to say goodbye now because I've got to go get Jasper in a minute and you know the Tesla related fun is kind of over for the day. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, share it and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I'll see you tomorrow in Gaydon for the next exciting installment of my daily vlog. Bye. You're gonna see me trundling around um, Gaydon tomorrow with this thing, I think. It's, uh, this is what I like to call the sort of proper BBC documentary look. You know? Yeah. Is it, nobody is doubting my seriousness carrying this around, are they? <laughs> Not a hobby, folks.